Father Brown, I've been well briefed by my predecessor on your propensity for extracurricular deduction, but I propose that you manage the funeral and I'll manage the investigation. Agreed? Of course. <laughs> Do you realise I could arrest you on the spot? What, and thwart your own investigation? You are interfering in official I know, police. I know, I know, I'm terrible, aren't I? The point is... I know why you're here, Father. I suggest you stop now. Just picking up something for supper. There's no law against that, is there? It's mere happenstance that it's from Fernsley's. His sausages are the talk of the town. Pork and hop. Isn't your mouth watering? I see your... Inspector, Father Brown, isn't it interesting? Whenever there's a suspicious death, you're never far away. Does the Grim Reaper give you advance warning? I don't want to step on your toes. Obviously. Father Brown, I do hope you're here for religious purposes and not to meddle. I don't know what you mean. Perhaps you should think about leaving things to the professionals from now on. Never forget the professionals built the Titanic. But an amateur built the ark. Henry Gibbs. Uh, before you say anything, I'm just here to see the Colonel. Just don't get involved and don't get in my way. Now there's a man on a mission. I recognize a bicycle. Visit of compassion. Uh. One does what one can. You see, I had a shilling bet with Goodfellow that you were really here because you found out about Davies stealing all Ethel's savings. I bet another shilling that, having spoken to Ethel, you would then head straight for Laceman's sewing factory to check her alibi. Might she have sneaked into the woods, stolen a cartridge and shot her husband? <clears throat> Tally-ho. 